God's story. Jesus is born. So part of God's story is about how he sent his son, Jesus, to be born. And it goes like this. Remember when God created a perfect garden? He also created a perfect family, Adam and Eve, to live in the garden with him forever. All they had to do was trust God. Then they would live with him forever in a perfect world where nothing bad happened, ever. Unfortunately, Adam and Eve stopped trusting God, so they disobeyed him. That's when all the wrong things in the world began. The worst part was they were separated from God because God is perfect and can't be around anything wrong. But God came up with a plan to rescue us from all the wrong things in the world. That way, he could be close to us again. For hundreds of years, God planned this rescue. He built a special family for the rescuer to be born into. He told prophets how to recognize the rescuer when he came. Prophets hear from God and then share it. God's family was so excited. And finally, it was time. God was ready to send his very own son, Jesus, to be with us on earth. Of course, he could have sent Jesus as a warrior or a superhero, but he didn't. He sent him the same way we all get here, as a baby. Now, that might not sound strange at first, but to a young woman named Mary, it was a huge surprise. God actually sent an angel to tell her that she was going to have a baby named Jesus. Mary was terrified, but she said, I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Basically, Mary wanted what God wanted. Anyway, the news about Mary's baby also came as a big surprise to a man named Joseph. Mary was going to be his wife, and now she was going to have a baby. But Joseph wasn't the father. So an angel came to him in a dream. He said, Don't be afraid to take Mary home to be your wife. She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. After hearing that, Joseph obeyed. A bit later, the king told people to go to their hometown to be counted. That was something that happened every once in a while. Joseph was from a little town called Bethlehem, so that's where he and Mary went. When they got there, Mary and Joseph couldn't find a place to stay. With nowhere else to go, they spent the night in a place where animals were kept. And that very night, Jesus was born. Mary laid him in a manger, which is where animals eat. Here was the king of heaven, the perfect rescuer, born with animals and sleeping in a dirty feeding dish because nobody would make room for him. Kids, have you ever felt like nobody wanted you around? Well, that quiet, lonely moment was the moment God's whole family had been waiting for. So God did something special. He sent angels to some shepherds who were taking care of their sheep nearby. The angels said, Today, your Savior is born in the city of David. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. The shepherds went to find Jesus right away. They told others the news. The rescuer is here, and he is sleeping in a manger. Everybody who heard their story was amazed. This is what they had been waiting for. It just happened in a way that wasn't expected. Even though people had stopped trusting God, he loved them and us. He wants to be with us so much that he sent his very own son to earth to live as a man. In fact, one of the names God called Jesus was Emmanuel, which means God with us. Through this tiny baby, God was close to his people again. And that's the story of when Jesus was born. But here's a quick version of what happened after Jesus was born. A star appeared in the sky. Magi followed it and worshiped Jesus. Jesus grew up. He never did anything wrong. He showed us what it looks like to follow God and love like God. Then he took the punishment for everything we've done wrong. Now we can all be close to God again. And that's a part of God's story.